Saturday night, it's coming up to nine o'clock and we are stuck right in the Bangkok Saturday night traffic. And when I say we, Kunen is here in his MX-5 driving. There's one little job to do. Before you arrive, you need to change your plate. It's raining now, Saturday night traffic. We're surrounded by taxis. We're heading for an underground car park, for an underground car meet as you do on Saturday night. And this is being organized by Kung Fluke, the organizer of Toffee Yar. So we're headed off. He called up this week, he said he's having a flash meet, do you want to come down? And with his meets, you'll get some really cool cars, you get the right sort of people, and you get a real vibe that goes with these meets. It's real poker, Japanese, KDM, underground feel, and that's where we're headed. So we're almost there, so let's see what happens. This really is a full underground style and the first thing I'm going to say is I'm going to apologize because this is Pucker Underground Car Park lighting style and there's hardly any lighting so my iPhone is going to struggle with this tonight but hopefully that kind of darker lighting is going to give you the vibe. This S2000 is really nice, it's got a really nice kind of metallic blue to it and the kit is quite full on but also quite blended in and integrated you can see there's a lot of detail here and it's got a big splitter on the front very nicely done though it's kind of very integrated a lot of s2000 builds are really over the top but this one is done nicely it's got a boot spoiler it's got deeper back end big twin exits i like that that's been done very neatly it kind of really fits in with the car This car meet's attracting a lot of people. These guys have come down to go underground in Bangkok on Saturday night. And here we have two of the most famous, the big names in car media in Thailand these days. <laughs> And then we have the first car I do not expect to see at an underground meet on Saturday night in Bangkok. A Corvette, the new generation car. Man, that is absolutely bang on and not what I would expect. So we're gonna go straight to the thick end of the meet. You've got this BRE Datsun pickup, this AE86. Then you've got an Evo R34, a renowned RX8. Man, you can't go wrong with that. Impreza. Fast and furious, and here we have the Toffia Car Cult sign. I've been here five minutes, and this RX8 in renowned livery, absolutely fantastic. In my book, there isn't a better livery in car history than the renowned colours. And this RX8 with this Rocket Bonnie Cape Man is absolutely fantastic. This big ducktail on the back. And a lot of carbon diffuser work going on here and aero work going on and carbon round the lights big exhaust man absolutely fantastic and a lot of details more carbon here in the b pillar carbon kind of aero style door mirrors and just look at all this absolutely beautiful and these bulk racing wheels fantastic and you got more aero going down here big carbon split a beautiful car it's got to stop for one second because that's what it's all about. Fast and Furious R34. It's going to be a real shadow with the backlighting behind me, but I need to stand by this sign and just mention the guys involved because on one side we've got Car Cult and the other side we've got Toffee Yard. They put this together and that means this is going to be special. This is going to be on the ground and when I spin you around and get all the light on me, Man, this is underground style. Hey, thank you. 
Don't touch my car. Flash meat, tougher yet, car cult. This BRE Datsun pickup is really, really nice. I saw this a few years ago, actually, at Carson Coffee in Hua Hin, and it kind of drove up, and I didn't know the car. That was the first time I saw it. And in the countryside, in a field, man, it looked absolutely beautiful. Period wheels, the mirrors on the wings, beautiful livery, really brought to life here. I absolutely love this car. And look at all that deck, it's all done in red. <laughs> สวัสดีครับAnd here are two of my favorite Mighty X builds. In fact, these are probably the two best quality Mighty X builds you're gonna meet in Thailand. Absolutely fantastic, real quality, real detail finish. And I love this with a carbon bonnet and then it's cut out all perspex. So you can see the engine underneath. Everything is detailed and chromed and polished. You see it's got a carbon splitter. And we got a guy riding in it. Hello guys, how are you? Man, these guys are riding in style. There's so much music going on tonight because they're doing some filming here. The car court guys are filming. Well worth coming up here because we've got a Sora. Look at the twin turbos there. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what the guys are doing is they're doing some filming. The car court guys are doing some filming. They've got a Cumbeam superstar actor in a GTR driving around. A few other cars driving around and it's really, really noisy. And then we have this Vios in advan colors and all these light shows going on and the bonnet taken off and everything going on with this i've seen this Vios before and i've actually told you about this car but actually it didn't have the lights on and here you can see we've got a red light show going on on the back of the firewall behind the engine and in here this glass has been deleted and it had all this like fleck thing and now it is all lit up in lighting so that's different to what i was seeing and his aerial is lit up as well so this thing i have brought you before but the lighting is a little bit different i've come up the end here now just to get some peace from the noise because they're playing a lot of copyright music the youtube is just going to rip straight off but this is just a very small meet basically about 50 cars and just look at that celica that is absolutely beautiful wide body on air anyway this is quite a small meet just about 50 cars or so and in fact the organizer only was expecting 10 to 15 cars but the words kind of got around a bit and a few more people come out but it's a very small compact traditional underground meet and because of small cars invited 
and it's top secret it's going to be the cars you know but they're always worth looking at again and this is another one i absolutely love this w123 by mania garage it looks fantastic it just gets better and better every time you see it and look at the stance on those three wheels man i love it i kind of like this piece of hardboard as a ducktail it's kind of cheeky it's really cool and then this eg from pk man it's one of the noisiest cars this most recent is on my video from cars and coffee songkla and you can see the burn marks in the rack there because this thing flames out this is another car i really like the full bozo treatment but a lot of bozo styling here it's a bit rough and ready this is absolutely a high quality finish you can see all the detail here well you probably can't really see in this light but the detail is really high quality the owner has gone to town on getting this car absolutely right the interior is beautiful the wheels steel wheels the recess there 15 inch rims man absolutely beautifully done car and here is the man who puts all this madness together come fluke the organizer of top of yacht and i'm his number one fan if you want to come to a car meet just one come to one that has the top of yacht branding on it because there is always the vibe always the things going down This wide body Honda City is really interesting. I've seen this a few times. And in fact, it came down to Retro Havoc a couple of months ago as part of the Thai group that came down. It looks great. I love this purple because it's very different, kind of sets it apart. But it's got like a wide bunny, rocket bunny style kit. But there's a lot of aero going on here. And you can see this splitter is very unique the way it profiles in. And then it's got these ribs here as well, and then a carbon fiber piece. And you can see a bit cooler in there. And he's kept like the ribs where the fog lights go to give it the city DNA. And he's got a carbon fiber bonnet on it, which is cut out absolutely everywhere. Very, very nicely done. Wide body. Quite hard to squeeze past this actually. So I've got to squeeze past without breaking anything. But I've never seen inside this car before. And look at all the work that has gone in there. Big nitrous bottles, purple metallic to match the car. And he's got this gold framework that's all been custom done. And these twit exits, which kind of look purple, but I'm not sure whether there's so much light going on, they're actually shining down. And you can see the whole diffuser with all the mesh. Very nicely done car. Pretty rare to see a city with this much customization done to it. So gotta go. It's getting late. Time to be out of here. This has been a good underground vibe. It's time to hop back in this pretty epic MX-5 and hit the road. Good job, guys. We're done with the meet. That was a pretty cool way to spend a couple of hours on Saturday night. Good job by Kung Flu, by Car Cult. They wanted to do a bit of filming, so it's a good atmosphere, good mix of cars, good vibe. Music non-stop, so I couldn't do a lot of talking and really tell you about what was going on too much. But anyway, that's it. And as I always say, if you've got this far in my video, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And please, if you can, hit the like button if you like that. Please subscribe and I'll bring you loads more car content, loads more Saturday night car meets. But for tonight, it's over and out.